Huh? Say you will. Clarksville, Tennessee, our first stop on the way to Yellowstone. Right? Oops. I'll take a quick walk out there. We just got to eating dinner. Hamburgers, turkey burgers, okay. corn on the cob. Right. That's it. Nope. Okay. Okay. They pulled in here about 5.30 Central Time. After a long, eventful day. And, uh, started off with going to the post office real early to pick up packages that were supposed to be there three days ago. Um, that we had ordered essential for the trip, including our EFS discount diesel card that was shipped from Texas on Tuesday. Four days, still didn't make it. Postmaster in our big town of Montmorency explained that 100 workers in Augusta, the mail distribution center, had boycotted and not gone to work for whatever reason. I think they should fire them all. But anyway, so we left and uh, started out on our trip and made it to Atlanta without too much problem. Temperature gradually rising from mid 70s up until low 90s when we got in Atlanta. And uh, <clears throat> coming through downtown Atlanta, I don't know, five or six lanes of traffic, I was about uh, let's see, I was one row, one lane in from the outside, or the inside lane, and there was a semi-truck coming. We went, went under an overpass, and then all of a sudden there were construction barrels on lining the inside of the bridge. He, of course, swerved over in my lane and scraped my mirror. That's how close we got. My loving wife didn't like it. And then, hey, a few scrape marks, not too bad. Well, you can see that, and chip in my mirror. That was the worst. Other than that, everything's okay. Started warming up, so we decided to uh, crank the generator on because the uh, Dash air was not doing the job and it wouldn't start. Um, battery's dead, even running down the road. So, um, last service we had at Tony's RV in Lexington, South Carolina, the mechanic called me and said, Hey, you know, your batteries are about dead. You want to put some new ones in? I said, No, this should be okay. Well, I guess he knew what he was talking about. We stopped in, in Nashville, almost in Nashville at a batteries R plus and bought three new batteries and the gentleman working in there was nice enough to come out and uh, put them in. Not a big job to put them in but uh, it was uh, saved me from getting too nasty. Unexpectedly we need new house batteries. So we are in Smyrna, Tennessee, and getting some new ones. So that was an unexpected $400 charge, but at least we got new batteries. Let's see what Trey's doing back here. Watching YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Watching YouTube. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, then we stopped for diesel, and the pump said the credit card machine in that particular pump was not working, so I went inside and they, I bought some prepaid for some and went out, and the doggone thing wouldn't pump. It would start for like three or four cents and shut off, couldn't get it going. So the girl came out, tried to get it working, she didn't. I think I got $18 eventually out of it, and then we went to the pump next to it, same thing. $5 in that one after about 30 minutes of fooling with it. So then we went down the street to another uh, truck stop and filled up. Not too good after we were trying to get here in the rush. But all in all, 
not such a bad day. We got here pretty uh, hot and sweaty. The temperature gauge reached 107 one time, external, on my dash. Uh, hovering in the high 90s, low 100s most of the day, so it was hot. Nice to have the generator working with the air conditioner. The house basement air going though, because it cooled down to about 70, I guess 75, 76. Bearable. So here we are. I think Kath and uh, Trey are going over to the swimming pool, cool off, and I'm going to clean this grill. And we're going to call it a night. We've already dumped. There's no uh, sewer at this particular site. Um, so we're going to leave in the first thing in the morning and not have to dump and uh, see how far we can get. We're about 1,600 miles away from Yellowstone right now, so a good three to four days. We're supposed to be getting there Wednesday. So this is Kathy and my first outing after going full time. We sold a house July 1st, moved out officially about June 27th, I believe it was. And... Um, been full time on it ever since, but it really was a hectic move and getting everything else together, last minute paperwork on changing all our addresses, driver's license, voter registration, insurances and bank accounts, and I don't know, whatever you call it, post office address, forwarding. So uh, biggest thing was unpacking and deciding what to do with the leftovers after we gave away 95% of what we owned. We still ended up with a bunch of junk. All right, maybe tomorrow I'll get some more video. It's more interesting than this one. Okay. Turn that around. Doesn't even turn around, does it? There it goes. Okay. Okay, grill's clean and put away. Kath and Trey are in the pool. Let's go see what they're doing. Okay, there's a nice junkyard across the street. Smile. Little playground here. Nice RV park, but it's too hot. You sitting on the bottom? <laughs> Is it warm water? It's very nice. Very nice? Yes. It's just a little cool when you get in, but it's not. It doesn't it's make cool you. At all. Yeah? Oh, yeah. This one. And now it's pretty warm. Yeah. So I told Trey it's not going to be like this at the campground here. Cool and yellow. It's going to be kind of cold, yeah. <laughs> Nine at night, I hate to think. Yep. Unless they heat it, but do they have a pool there? Do you remember? I think so. Okay. <laughs> well, it's getting dark now. Came back an hour later, and he's still in the pool. But we going for a walk. I think. Right, yeah. <laughs> Game ball available in the office. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, but it's like, it, hey, there's our Jeep, babe. Hmm. Yeah, right next to the interstate here. Your bicycle is it fitting better now? Yeah. How do you get on this thing? You got the biggest leap of faith. As fast as you're growing, the same pony will grow. Lux. It's a trailer. From Florida. 
Man, that interstate's interstate's noisy. I don't know. On the, oh, on the other side, yeah, probably. Kind of, yeah, they got storage. There's, some kind of shop there. Of course, the junkyard across the street. Not very big. Miss Lukey. Miss Lucy. They use it. Uh -huh. Can you see? Cute. Too, too oh, late yeah, at night. Can, you can. It's nice. Yeah, it's nice. See if the door's unlocked. <laughs> well, it's nice. Oh. Okay. You breaking in someone's house for all now. <laughs> Kind of looks like it. It is nice. <laughs> it's cute. It's a retro It is thing. really restored. Nice. Smells good to wood. Yeah, it does smell good in there. Like cedar wood or something. Mm hmm. There's no potty though, huh? There probably is. I don't know. Somebody getting here late. Yep. We got lucky to get a site here for one night. Everything up the road is sold out. This coronavirus is tough. Right? Everybody's out in their motorhome. Sure. 